wanted you to know that Mr. Berkeley, I am here. I am ready to comfort you. <laughs> <laughs> You're too fast. That was a quick one. Kakalabday pa ako bago mag February 14. Can you get her a green card? Yeah, right away. Nako po, spoken na naman tayo. Nako, duduwang ilang natin ito. Sir Perry, good afternoon. Good evening. Good morning, actually. It's it's almost 2 in the morning here. Sabi mo, kumusta ka? Good morning. How are you today? I'm okay. Mabuti. Thank you for asking. Wow. Okay. Sir Perry, since the last time we talked, uh, were you able to uh, speak with uh, Marilyn? Mr. Tofo, uh, yes. I've spoken to Marilyn and uh, uh, quite a few times. In fact, I've even spoken to her father. Oh, and, that's good. Uh, yeah. So, um, so how did the conversation trying, go you, when, when you talked uh, to her? Well, <clears throat> I have still, you know, a couple questions, um, but... Uh, the, the conversation went well. She, you know, apologized for everything. Um, you know, it's going to come down to trust. It's going to come down to, you know, belief in what she says. Okay. Uh, which is why I think, you know, I'd like to hear her and, and the boyfriend exchange. I'd like to hear you ask some questions. You know, that will kind of tell me if she's consistent with her answers while the boyfriend's listening the, to what okay. she told me. Ms. Marine? <laughs> Mom, uh, Mr. Perry Berkeley... Uh, came to us last week and she he had a complaint about you. Would you like to give your side? Like you said, you're willing to say something to redeem yes, yourself? Yes, sir. Um, um, can you speak in English, uh, Mom, so that Mr. Uh, Berkeley can understand? Can you say it in English, please? Okay, okay, sir. This is our story. Uh, it begins with uh, we met through... Facebook, sir, that's okay. 2019, okay. and we are officially in relationship last January 2020. Okay. And then, we we are planning to get married okay. after a uh, couple of months we know each other, and then June 8th, we started to build a house. Mm -hmm. I was in Kuwait last uh, back year, mm -hmm. and when I when I sent money for the house, mm -hmm. he also uh, offered help. That is like help because we, we both um, have that agreement that mm -hmm. we, if I go back to the Philippines, he wants to meet me okay. and, you know, uh, we get married. We have, we have a lot of plans. Okay. Um, when I got home, when I got home here, he is uh, promising me that he will support me. He don't want me to go back abroad because um, what I was working there very, uh, very hard. Okay. Uh, my uh, boss did not treated me well. So okay. when when I got home, he supported me. Yes, um, that is like that is not a borrowed money. That is not a scam because you you, you use the word you use the word scam. But for me, that is not a scam because we both agree that <laughs> that he helped me through ups and downs because I didn't have any work when I got home. So, so I know that people bashing me because of that work. But <laughs> those times I cannot defend myself up. Having a tutor here at home. Maybe you were right. It wasn't borrowed. It was given to you voluntarily. But when Mr. Uh, Berkeley was giving you those monies, he was expecting something back because you were into a relationship and he was expecting that you were going to get married later on because that's part of the plan, as you said earlier. That was part of the plan. He wouldn't yes. give you all those monies. He's not going to be sending you money for nothing. For the sake yes. of just helping you. Since he doesn't know you anyway from, uh, and, until, until that uh, you, you guys were into a relationship and, and you promised marriage and that even promised him that you're going to go to the States and marry him. Yes, sir. That's true. I agree with that. But I never expect that we end like this because before when we are um, in a good term, uh, he was planning he will come at 
on December. But because of COVID, he cannot come. He always um, asking the travel consultants where can he book a ticket, you know. But in a bad situation, we got broke up last November. He met another woman before me, and she is she was from uh, she is from Cebu. And then I saw she is posted with him talking together, and they are in relationship. They are going back together. You know, so I was hopeless, and I was too jealous. So okay. I was too jealous when he asking me about like. Um, how am I? Mr. Berkeley, she said you were the one who broke up with her. I, we had a, a disagreement about something, yes. We, we had a severe... I mean, the relationship was kind of having trouble near the last couple months. Um, you know, at one point she said to me some... You know, I was destroying her happiness um, and things like that. And so we agreed later, we discussed it, that maybe the language difference. But, you know, I speak English when she used those words and somebody says... You're destroying my happiness. That to me is pretty serious. But um, you know, we had some you know intimate things, intimate things that we talked about, and she went back on an intimate promise she had made. You know, like she said, it's probably not a good idea to discuss exactly what it was. But okay, you know. Um, so in terms of she broke her promise to me on that, and then I kind of uh, I, I lost trust because I, I don't ask. I didn't ask much from her. Really, I really didn't. But is it true? Uh Mr. Berkeley, that uh, she wanted you to come to the Philippines and you didn't because of COVID. Exactly. Until until later on, she said she found out that uh, you were cheating on her. No, you that's had, you had another she... woman from Cebu, Filipina girl from Cebu. Yes, yes. Well, I was never cheating on her. No, this was a friend who was not a romantic relationship. There was no talk of love. And I tried to explain to her that this was a very close friend who was a listener of mine. Um, and we became good friends for three or four years. Again, I never met the girl. I'm not trying to side on uh, on, mm. on uh, Relampago's uh, statement, yeah, yeah, sure. but what's the point of talking to a Filipina uh, in Cebu, and you said just a friend, and it might develop into something, so why find another F Filipina girl nope. when you already have Mayreen, even if it's just uh, as friends? Okay. Because I because who the, knows? I it, 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 can be the, it can develop into something. You're, you, I just want to stop you and tell you that we ended the friendship. She found another boyfriend. Ah. She found the love of the other boyfriend. So she was in a relationship. She already had a relationship with uh, the policeman when this girl from Cebu came along. And no, you no, said this was, you became friends. This was, as I say, the friend of mine, I knew four years before I met Mayrin. Ah, was, four years before you met Mayrin. Mm -hmm. Okay, I didn't know yes. that. And All then right. when I met Mayrin, when I met Mayrin, and I fell in love with Mayrin, I told my friend, "It's making Mayrin uncomfortable. I think we need to, you know, cool down our friendship." Okay. And so she she got another boyfriend. I got gotcha. you. Went out, you know, fell All in right. love, All and right. she was out of the picture, out of the picture, okay. until you know Mayrin decided, you know, she wanted to find somebody else. Okay, so. Mayrin. Yes, sir. Uh, we talked to uh, Patrolman uh, Johnston Tao Tuan. And he did agree that he will talk to you and uh, convince you to sell that house and lot or that house, whatever that case may be, uh, so that you can send that money back to Mr. Berkeley and you can call it quits, whatever problems you, you two have. Yes, sir. He did. He talked to me about, about it and then he broke up with me after that. Who did, who did break up with you? The patrolman? The, the, yes, Pa. Oh. He, he broke up I, with you? When, when did that happen? When did that happen? After the show. After the show. After sir. the show? Yes. Okay. He broke up with you. Yes. Are, are you sure about but, that? Yes. Yes, sir. Yes, okay. Sir. All right. Mayrin told me in the last couple of days we've spoken that she doesn't love this policeman and she never did love this policeman. But he said on the air he loved her. So I wish he were on the phone with us to be able to say whether she told him she loved him or not so that I would know. She said, and I know that you asked him in Tagalog, did he ever sleep over Mayron's house? And he said, yes, when he was off duty. Right. She told me he, they never had sex in that house. Maybe they, they slept together but never had sex. Is that what you're saying, Mayreen? Sir, we never slept together here in our house. But 
we did meet in her in in his house. So, hindi pa kayo nag ni patrolman, ma'am. Mayroon pong nangyari sa amin December 24. I also told Perry about that. Oh, okay. Okay, you admitted that to uh, Mr. Berkeley that something happened between you and uh, uh, Patrolman Johnston. Yes, again, I yes. wish you were on the phone with us because she said it was one time and they were both drunk. That okay. was her explanation. They dated for, I don't know how long. It's like a one-night stand. One time. It, one well, time. Yeah, a one-night stand that he said he loved her. I I, I don't know. I, I wish he was here to tell me. Okay, okay. Uh, Mayreen, you said that Patrolman broke up with you, so... He would. He doesn't have to help us anymore, uh, convincing you to sell the house and return the money. But can I convince you anyway, in behalf of Mr. Berkeley, to sell the house and give him back his money? Can you do that? Are you still willing to do that? Sir, um, um, there is one thing that you should know that me and Mr. Berkeley is already reunited because last. Uh, night last two nights we um, talked and he also uh, talked to my father uh -huh. and he is willing to come here to meet the whole family. And oh, me. okay. Yes. So you said reunited. You yes, reunited. Oh, okay. Is that true, Mr. Berkeley? That's good news for everybody. Well, well, it's kind of, but what I've said to Mayrin over and over is that we need to work through some issues, and we both agreed the only way to actually figure out where we're at was to do this in person uh, okay because we have never we've never seen each other okay can you come so. can, can you come to the philippines and meet yeah. her in person i want to yes. great that's my plan okay yes. yeah when well, is that gonna happen mr berkeley well i've been waiting for the airlines to the you know travel to open up from COVID, and i was told by a travel agency it's going to open soon sir allow americans sir the philippines is open for tourists already without quarantining I don't yes, want to travel without home. quarantine. It's starting tomorrow. Oh, tomorrow. Actually, okay. I think it's today. Starting okay. today, we're on level two. You don't need to quarantine in a hotel facility okay. unless, well, you have to be vaccinated, fully vaccinated. Hmm. And am. then I before you leave the U.S., you have to have a, a negative RT-PCR. And that's okay. it. Okay, yeah, 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 no problem. Sir, and I've been talking to travel You have to come here to clear my name. Why? Because... Um, one time before uh, this show, he was trying to post my video in Pornhub. He was trying to upload your video? What kind of video is it? The, like, um, um, X video? X video. X rate, uh, yes. X rated video? Yes. And oh. It was already deleted, but I want to clear my name to all people, people here. That was also my parents wanted to be. Why did you have a, an X-rated video, ma'am? It's not for for me, for us, for Perry. It was normal. It is normal oh, it was between you and Perry. Okay, so Perry. Yes. Perry, it's a big no, no. Uh, you tried uploading that sex video of you and uh, Marilyn in social what media. Did, what I did was I created in Pornhub? an account. I created an account. I put the video on the account. It doesn't get posted till they have her permission. That's the law. But, but sir, you're not supposed to do that. Posted. It didn't get posted. So oh. sorry, Mr. Mr. Berkeley. But even if you need to ask permission from her, and you know for a fact that she wouldn't allow you to do that, who in the hell, who in the hell, a normal girl would allow her sex video being posted in the internet or in a porn hubs, most especially? Of course, nobody would al would allow you to do that. But anyway, since you didn't post it, but let me ask uh, Mayreen. Mom, hindi ro niya pinost? Ano po, sir? It's almost. Because it's almost. Of okay, almost but it wasn't posted. Yes, anyway, okay, good, deleted. good. Okay, let's do it this way. Mr. Berkeley, when are you going to come to the Philippines? As soon as possible. I'll call the travel. I already sent an email to the travel agent. Okay, very good. Uh, Can you do that next week? And we're going to meet you at the airport. Oh, really? Yeah, oh, okay. really. We will. We'll pick you up okay. at the airport and then bring you to uh, Marine's place or in a hotel or in a restaurant and you can have a, a dinner and talk it out and we can be a, a witness to you guys having a decent conversation and until you guys can square out all the problems that you have. Mm. Until such time, 
you get married here in the Philippines, and then uh, Mayrin can go to the U.S. and be your, uh, and he can be your yeah, wife. I don't think I don't think our goal was for her to get married to get a green card. You know, was, <laughs> green card. You know, oh, oh. Yeah, I was planning to I, really you? stay there. You know, I was planning to live there. I'm going to retire. Oh, you're planning to live in the Philippines? Yes, and how's your yes, job? In, how about your job in Washington, D.C.? I I said in a few years. In I, a few I'm years, six, I'm 61. I can retire at 65. You're young. Well, thank you, thank you. You are 61 also. Yes, sir. But you're young. Yes, we're the same age. We're you the same you age. look younger than me. <laughs> no, not at all. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, but, but okay. So maybe so, you can get me a radio job there in the Philippines, then I can leave VOA. <laughs> yeah, you, you can come over, visit us, and I'm going to hook you up with Cherie. Oh, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Yeah. I'm just kidding. <laughs> All right. Anyway, Mr. Uh, Berkeley, yes, so sir. if you will be here in the Philippines next week or the week after, we will meet you at the airport, and then we will sponsor, meaning all expenses paid. We're going to set you up in a nice hotel for a dinner mm-hmm. with her, and then after that, we can bring you to the barangay so you guys can have sort of an agreement and how is it going to go and then get married, get laid, and then the rest is history. How's that? <laughs> Isn't that nice? No, you're an honest man. But so <laughs> I just, you know, I was hoping that the policeman would be on so that he could, you know, corroborate everything she's saying. Yes, so, sir. But the know. cop doesn't want to answer our, our, our call anymore. I know. We've been calling him and texting him, and he wouldn't answer anymore. And we can't force him to answer us if he doesn't want to. Right. Unfortunately. Right. Well, shame on him. He went on your show and admitted he knew I was in her life, and he still was with her. So shame on him. Okay. But uh, so anyway. So when can we expect you here in the Philippines, in in Manila? Is that going to be next week or the week after? Or, or? As, well, I don't know. As soon as I can get a ticket. That's okay. Be, Good. You know. So we'll wait for you, Irene. Yes, sir. Maybe you want to say something to. Uh, Perry and tell him that you love him and it it's probably just a little misunderstanding and and you are waiting for her to come to the Philippines and get married etc cetera, etc cetera. how's that go ahead say something yes, to him sir. talk also, to him I already told him no um, it's, it's better that you talk to him in public like like you know everybody's listening and and watching right now to okay. make sure that you you you're serious and you're sincere Honey, uh, I would love to hear that Sir Rafi Tolpo uh, wanted to help us so that we can meet in person. And I am so excited for that. And I'm willing to um, work this relation, you know, uh, build this again, like strong as, you know, before I know that I am not really perfect and I, I have also mistake, shortcoming, but I, I was so sorry for that. I know that you know that. And I know that you also have some mistakes for our relationship. You know already about that. I told you a while ago. So I love you and I'm so sorry about what happened. You know. Wow. Okay. What, what's your response to that, Mr. Berkeley? What? As I told you the last time I was on, I love her. And I'll tell you, I told May Rin I love her. I'll tell you that I love her. I'll tell the world I love her. There's no, I never stopped loving her. I cannot turn it on and off. But the trust is the issue. Um, You know, to go from one relationship to another right away, so quickly, so easily. um, That's the reason why you have to talk to her. The Filipino people will be able to make it up with you. I'm going to pay for your ticket round trip. Business Whoa. class, how's that? Whoa. Seriously, seriously. Business class. Oh Business class. Thank yeah. you. Choose your airlines wow. and and, uh, and I'll buy the ticket for you, round trip. And even wow, the hotel accommodations. You. Oh my goodness, thank really? you. So, oh my God. you want me to make the arrangement now? I, I am working for the government, so I do need to t- you know give them a certain amount of notice. I can't just... I see, I understand. So, okay, yeah, do I, let I us know when, when are you planning, seriously, when are you planning to... Coming here in the Philippines to meet uh, uh, Myrene, and I'll, I'll I'll pay for everything mm. while okay. you're here in the Philippines. All expenses All right, paid. I'm serious. Thank you very much. So that the Filipino people can will be able to make it up with you. Mm. Well, that would be wonderful, and I have to say thank you for putting me on the show and 
you know, for following the story. And, you, you know, your audience has been great. I have received, I couldn't believe I have got thousands of friend requests, thousands of friends requests after being on the show. And so I know you're very popular and, and everybody says you have a good heart and you do great things for people, help people that need it. So I want to thank you for helping us, helping me. You're welcome, and Randon, you know, Thank you're you welcome, very much. Okay, so d don't hang up. Um, my staff will talk to you. Uh, regarding your, your plan on coming over, and uh, I'll book you in any uh, airlines you want. You choose hotel here in the Philippines, five star hotel, you know, wow. ev everything, okay? And, wow. wow. Ma Marine. Yes, sir. Don't hang up. Uh, we're we'll, we'll going to yes. talk to you, and then we'll set you up to as to Thank when you and so where are you going to both meet when he comes over in the Philippines. Okay, mom? Yes, sir. Okay? All right. Okay. So, Mr. Berkeley, see you soon, sir. See you soon. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Talfu. Thank you, Mr. Berkeley. Good, af good morning you. to you there in Washington. <laughs> and good evening, good afternoon to you there. We're afternoon here right now. Ma right, Marine, thank you. Thank you for your time, my Miss Marine. Ingat po kayo. So, kumisa kasi medyo konting misunderstanding. Uh, meron yung isang netizen na nabasa kong comment niya nung last time. Marami kasi sa mga foreigner na manliligaw through the internet sa mga Pinay thinking na mapapangasawa agad nila yung kanilang nagustuhan and then dadaanin nila sa pera and then syempre, sino ba namang ayaw ng pera? Kung kusa na pinipilit din ng foreigner, sige na, tulungan kita para hindi ka na magtrabaho. Don't worry. Usually talagang karamihan, totoo to, uh, yung sinasabi din ng mga girls na hindi ko naman hiningi, siya po mismo nagpumilit. Totoo yan, I, and I believe those girls na pinipilit para makuha yung loob nung girl. Sabi, sige, bigyan kita ng pera, tulong ko yan sa family mo, etc., etc. So, there's this pagbo-volunteer. Now, doon naman sa girl, kung hindi ka seryoso sa kanya, pwede mo naman hindi tangkapin. Kung sa tingin mo, ito ay short term lamang, lokohan lang, huwag mo nang tanggapin. Pero kung sa tingin mo seryoso ka, then may karapatang kang tanggapin yung pera. Walang panulo ko doon. Pero kung tanggap ka ng tanggap, kahit na pinilit niya, pero wala pala sa isip mo seryosoin siya, ibig sabihin, scammer ka. In this case, dito sa dalawa, then let's see kung ano mangyari pagdating dito ni Mr. Burton.